hello all welcome to the channel this is b square and today i'm gonna show you how to use a 2d simplification with uh, in the topic that is uh, axis symmetric in my previous video i talked uh, how to use a 2d simplification with the use of a uh, plant stress so link is uh, provided in the description so today we will learn how to use a uh, axis symmetric with the use of a uh, 2d simplification so starting so for that uh, we need uh, a real object so this is my real object and uh, for uh, that uh, i just need a uh, uh, center axis also so this is my center axis so in a simulation tab new study in in static we have option use 2d simplification click right and ok now here we have uh, three options so today we will talk a uh, uh, third one that is axis symmetric so click here and uh, you see here are two options first one is section plan so you just need to select a plan which is in the section or a middle so i'm choosing right plane and uh, in the second option we just need to select the center axis okay now we just click ok now we have a 2d model of our 3d okay so simple just apply material so here i am applying the material that is uh, 304 apply and close now fixture in fixed geometry i am fixed this one click ok now apply external load and i am applying here the pressure so I am selecting the all ID faces. Okay, now pressure value is uh, one newton per meter square. Okay, so simply run this simulation. Okay, so this is the how we can make a axis symmetric with the use of a 2D simplification. If you want to see animation. Click here and you can see animation also. So this study will give a fast result. Because this is only a 2D. That's why it gives a fast result. If you want to see displacement, you can see also animated also. So this is my 2D. Now I want to convert this 2D into 3D. So for that uh, just uh, right click here and you see the option that is so as a 3d plot click here and you can see a uh, 3d of uh, right click and animate so this is the how your uh, object will work Okay, if you want to see the displacement in 3D, right click here and make your 3D. So, this is your displacement. So, this is the how you can use the axis symmetric option in a solid work. So, thank you for watching. Thank you all.